Don't get bit by this. All right, this is a venomous snake species. I have passion for wildlife. That also describes the Great Outdoors channel and my mission to understand and ultimately protect and preserve wildlife wherever it needs protection. I will in many cases film from a distance in order to preserve the moments and ultimately have as little of an impact on the places I explore as possible. However, when it comes to things that need a bit more appreciation, ironically, the things that we often fear or are misunderstood, I will be getting hands on. So like the people who inspired me to ultimately lose my fear of things I didn't understand, like spiders, scorpions, and centipedes, I can show that their true intentions have never been to cause any harm or fear. Yet to survive to the best of their abilities, I strive to prove that all creatures still play a crucial part in our delicate precious ecosystem. Some of my first memories include wildlife, both intentionally and unintentionally. I have encountered a lot of it. Right there we have a little coot taking off her flight. And just below that, this is the American alligator. Born and bred in the swamp. We will be getting hands on with some of the most feared creatures in the animal kingdom. My name is Alex, the Florida wildlife guy, and this is the coral snake. Don't get bit by this. All right, this is a venomous snake species. Red on black, Brenda Jack. Red on yellow, kill a fellow. Now you can also distinguish coral snake from scarlet king snake by the blunt curvature of the face. Scarlet king snakes tend to have a four pointed nose. This is a subterranean species, likes to live under the ground, so seldomly is spotted. It is related to the sea snake, not the pit vipers, which consist of all the other venomous snake species here in Florida. This one, however, is not a pit viper. Coral snakes have the second most potent venom of any snake in the world. However, there have been zero reported deaths from the western coral snake. Unlike all other terrestrial venomous snakes in North America, coral snakes don't have large fangs like pit vipers we find in North America. Coral snakes are the only venomous snake native to Florida that is not a member of the pit viper family. Coral snakes have a very low venom yield. Coral snakes can deliver up to 20 milligrams of venom, while it only takes 4 or 5 milligrams to kill a human. However, pit vipers can deliver 1400 milligrams of venom, and on average 450 milligrams of venom are delivered, enough to kill a human. However, in the US, on average, only 6 people die a year. You're 10 times more likely to die from a lightning strike and 6,000 times more likely to die from a car accident. In fact, the easiest way to get bit is to do what I'm simply doing right here, and that is to hold the snake species. If the coral snake has such potent venom, why is it not killing people? You probably already considered the obvious. Most people just don't mess with this snake. I mean, it's obvious and well known about, or that it's elusive and rare. Regardless, a snake like this with these bright colors is on most herpetologists checklist of reptiles that have to experience in the wild. What we call lifers. Hey, will you get some photos too? He's shedding his skin. Rare species that when glimpsed may be your once in a lifetime chance. The reason coral snakes are not responsible for more fatality is a combination of different factors. The obvious ones we talked about and the fact that they have a very low venom yield combined with a very poor venom delivery system. The venom was designed more for hunting than self-defense. Used to subdue prey, it's basically an extremely potent venom-laced saliva that is transmitted through wounds caused by chewing motion, created by the coral snake's fixed teeth, totally different than all the other venomous snakes here in Florida. Just remember, red on black, friend of Jack. Red on yellow, probably won't kill you, fellow, but it could be dangerous. The reality is, coral snakes and all other snakes, including the venomous ones, are extremely important to our very precious, delicate ecosystem. The reality also is that their delicate, precious ecosystems are disappearing exponentially, faster and faster. As human population climbs, the amount of wild places that once harbored these species is dwindling. Luckily, there are enough wild places out there giving us herpetologists and conservation this opportunity to experience and share our experiences with other people about these wild creatures. We're gonna put him right here. Lots of underbrush for him to crawl into on this side. So we'll let him be right there. And this is his chance to just get away from us. Do they have predators? 
I will say that, uh, of course, uh, most hawks and stuff like that will eat something like that. I will say that is my first time ever holding a venomous snake species. And it was quite thrilling and ex exciting experience. And uh, I'm glad I was able to do that finally. Uh, this is one that I felt more comfortable holding than any other like pit viper or something like that. So, and that's the first one I've ever caught. So that's pretty cool too. I've never actually caught a coral snake. I've seen dead. Oh man. It's another casualty of the ones road. and stuff like that. But to be able to catch one was a true honor. Make sure y'all like this video and subscribe to the channel if you uh, like stuff like this. And we'll see you next time right here in the great outdoors. I'm your host, Alex, the Florida Wildlife Guy.